It's a hate crime until we can determine different. For the first time, Cape Coral Police Chief Anthony Sizemore confirming publicly his department is investigating the attack at the Habal Jewish Center as a hate crime. I'm saddened and I'm shocked and I'm outraged that it happened in Cape Coral, but, but surprised? I'm not. I think it's getting the right attention, and, and we believe we believe there was a hate crime. Three days later, emotions for Rabbi Yossi Labowski are still fresh. After police say a man who has not been caught through bricks and tried to break in as service ended. Now, there are new security cameras being installed. You never know, the guy might come again. The incident, leaving witnesses wondering. How could it happen here? In Cape Corps Mayor John Gunter attempting to answer. When you are a growing city, uh, unfortunately, sometimes these types of incidents do happen. For months, Fox 4 has covered Florida's rise in anti-Semitism. Southern Poverty Law Center numbers showed many of Florida's 53 hate groups in 2021 are in connection with the issue. A Florida's Attorney General's report shows 13.5% of hate crimes that year were religiously based, but did not break down to anti-Semitic acts. Whether it's, uh, you know, the Jewish family or any other type of family, like you had mentioned, we're a very diverse uh, community. Uh, but first and foremost, we are a community. If we express our love and our good to the community, hopefully these people will, will um, change their attitudes. Now you, now you heard the mayor and you heard the rabbi talk about community, and Cape Coral Police really needs the community, they say. They really ask if you know anything to come forward. Now if you need any information regarding that description, the car, or just background information, make sure you visit this story right now on fox4now.com. Live from the Cape, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.